Hi, my name is Michelangelo Caruso, and you might not be able to tell it today by the sound of my voice, but I'm a professional speaker, and business has been very good lately, so I've been speaking way too much. When I started to lose my voice, I was reminded of how important it is to convey nonverbal cues or visual cues when speaking. We know that visual cues are more prevalent, they're more effective, and they're certainly very useful when you're losing your voice. So here are four ways that you can use visual cues to improve your communication in speeches and in presentations. I'm using an acronym called HELP, H-E-L-P. The H in HELP stands for hands, that you should try to use your hands when you're presenting, either to indicate that you're reflecting on something or that you're interested in somebody and what they're saying. But when you move your hands a little bit, gesticulate in any way, it can be very helpful. The E in HELP stands for eyebrows, because when you move your eyebrows a bit, uh, even simply raising them once in a while during your presentation, it conveys a little bit of surprise, a little bit of uh, intrigue, and makes you much more uh, interesting to look at. The L in HELP stands for lift your chin just a little bit, or maybe tilt your head. When you do these types of things as you're speaking, it animates your face in ways that you um, might find very helpful, very useful. So always remember to lift your chin occasionally when you're speaking. And the P in help, the P in help stands for please or smile. When you smile when you're speaking, you tend to look pleased. And when you're pleased with your own presentation, other people are more likely to be pleased with your presentation. So remember the acronym HELP when you're speaking and you can help yourself become a better communicator. Thanks very much everybody. Subscribe to these and more videos by clicking on the yellow subscribe button in the upper right hand corner of this YouTube screen. Talk to you soon. My name is Michael Angelo Caruso. More communication tips at michaelangelocaruso.com.